previously on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. I got this, I got this. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Woo! And then the adventure continues. Okay, well... We're gonna open this, uh, creepy steeple. And yes, I just referenced Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, that's what. Okay. Here's where more of those gold feathers would come in handy, because we have more of those stupid ghosts. Okay, well thankfully we took care of that one. Maybe I can avoid the other one. Although he's right there looking at me. I don't like when they're looking at me. I can't focus. I lose my concentration. It's just not good. And I'll make sure I grab those other two notes when I leave. Now watch, I'll forget, and you guys are gonna laugh at me. I can I'm calling it now. But I'm not gonna try to forget on purpose. If I forget, like I legitimately forgot. And I should feel very stupid if that does happen. Also, come on, let's get up here. We have things to do, Banjo and Kazooie. Like talking to a giant ghost hand, that sounds like something you guys want to do. Mozart plays his organ with ease, but can you follow him on the keys? Well, you, gr you rhyme a lot better than Grunty does, that's good. You have to actually do this twice. The first tune is a lot easier than the second tune. Just make sure you're watching and paying attention to where his finger's actually going. And that sounds incredibly wrong. <laughs> Although, to be fair, saying that he plays his organ with ease can also be taken very, very wrongly as well. I've never actually been able to play the organ or piano, which is actually kind of funny because my, uh, well, one of my grandmothers had a piano, and, uh, she used to actually play a lot, so I could have actually learned. Eh, I was just never really interested. If I was interested in any kind of instrument, it would have been, you know, the guitar, but even then, I was more of a singer anyway. Oh, that was close, close. But there we go. Your music skills are mighty fine. Go take this golden piece of mine. Okay, you're a lot better at rhyming than Grunty. You're not just a little better. You're awesome. I freaking love Mott's Hand. Mott's Hand for Brawl. Or Super Smash Brothers 4, whatever you want to call it. Okay, there's another Jiggy. That's number 5. Also, we're up to 70 notes. Before we leave the church, though, and yes, I know we still have those notes to get, uh, there is actually something else we're going to want to do. See that flight pad over there? a very good hint of what we need to do. Because if we fly to the rafters, there are some goodies we can collect. Including this golden piece of honey. But that's not all. That's definitely not all. There is actually something else here. Uh, gold feather, no, not worth it. Besides, I believe it's over here anyway. No! Ouch, I fell. 
Well, while I'm down here, I might as well grab these while I'm thinking about them. If I can jump up on the... Thank God. Well, I'm out of gold feathers. It sucks. Hope I don't need them for anything else. <laughs> like more ghosts. That would suck. But okay, well, uh, hold on. Let me get back up in the rafters again. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and punch your face. There's the Jiggy. It appears in Grunty's eye. There's actually a couple of different ways we can grab that Jiggy, by the way, but uh, I'll go over that later. Right now, we need to worry about getting down. <laughs> and I did not want to do it that way. Okay, well, I did actually uh, save damage there, believe it or not. Could have been a lot worse. But yeah, I was trying to actually get up at the top of the organ, but no, I fell down way too soon. My bad. Okay, there we go. Church is completed. Now we can uh, focus on the outside. And let's uh, create flowers with eggs. I don't know if that actually works. I've never personally tried it. Last I checked, eggs were supposed to hatch chicks and... Uh, well, fish and other creatures of that nature. But I guess eggs kind of act like seeds in this game, I guess, maybe. I honestly don't even know anymore. Because, well, I mean, come on, let's face it, this game is pretty out there. I mean, hell, friggin' listen to those stupid planters. They sound like they're demonic or something. No, stop missing. Just go inside the pot. What is... There we go, my god. I don't know what I was missing, but I kept missing, apparently. Okay, well, here's that gate we can knock down. I believe there's something else you want to look at here, too. Hey, look, Banjo-Kazooie. I think there's secret stuff in here. Oh yeah, gold feathers, perfect. Exactly what I needed. One up didn't really care about, but I think we have another. Yep, gold feather. See, that was actually pretty nice. I got a good little restock room right there. Didn't get as many gold feathers as I would like, but those are pretty rare as they are, so no surprise. Also, is there a better way to get on top? Yeah, okay. Now we need to climb on top of the church. I think we're doing pretty good for notes, and I think we're actually ready for the uh, transformation. I can't think of any other jiggies we have to get. I hope so, anyway. Because that would really suck if I'm missing something. Okay, no, no, I'm on, I'm on schedule. I'm on schedule. Had to think about it for a moment, but yeah, I should have six right now. This should give me number seven. Banjo, your nose is sticking through that pole. That can't be healthy. As you can see, Mumbo is over here, so we're going to go pay him a visit next. How do we get over here? Ah, here we go. Okay. I see how it is. Anything behind your skull? Gold feather. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, more notes, too. That's nice. And that actually works out very well, because I believe 12 is the magic number we should be at at this point. Well, 
12 notes remaining, that is. Oh, feather. Okay, let's go ahead and transform. Now, because we don't have much Mumbo left, I guess I can go ahead and mention this. Ah, Mumbo proud of pumpkin spell. Make good soup. Ah! <laughs> Get away from me, you freak! First you wanted to make boots out of me, now you want to freaking make me into a soup. Mumbo, you're giving off some very bad vibes, I'm just going to say that much. Uh, but anyway, as I was trying to say, uh, because there's not much Mumbo left in this game in terms of the transformations, uh, there are actually a few joke transformations that Mumbo can uh, give off, and I would talk about this li later, like when we actually use them for the last time. But, uh, once again, because there's not much left of him, he's not going to have very many opportunities to show everything, so I might as well mention them now. Uh, but there is actually a glitch where Mumbo will turn us into a washing machine. And he'll joke about uh, needing his clothes cleaned or something, so uh, that is one thing that can happen. And uh, as for other uh, the other joke... Uh, sometimes he'll mention that he'll turn you into an all-powerful T-Rex, but then when he actually does the spell, he doesn't do it, and he says, only, only kidding, I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, those are two, uh, joke transformations, or sequences with Mumbo you can get. Uh, hopefully we can at least show off the washing machine, because that is pretty funny. It's actually funny how that can really ruin speedruns, too. Happy landings, little one! Ew, we're getting flushed down the toilet. Also, like I mentioned earlier, this is actually the place where you can find that other Mumbo token. If you did not get the one in the cellar, and it would be right here. So yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. Also, yeah, one of those feathers. Let's get the other two, too. Ow. Damn. Okay, well there we go. We're actually full again too, so that's nice. I can't believe you went in there. Now wash your hands, filthy bear. I'm washing, I'm washing. I wasn't too thrilled about freaking getting flushed down a toilet either. I mean, come on. Okay, there's another Jiggy right there. And I believe with that, we only have one more to get, and that's actually in that poison water area, so we're gonna head on back there. I believe it's this way, though. Hell, how should I know? It's been forever since we've been there. Okay, it's around here somewhere. Oh yeah, it's actually right here. Perfect, 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 perfect. Let's go ahead and jump in the well. And yep, there's the jiggy. There we go, all the jiggies collected. Now we just need the notes, and I believe all the notes are here, so... Just have to collect a few more. On. Need to see. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys, that's it for Mad Monster Mansion. I think that one went by pretty quickly. Well, I'd say like around 30 minutes, which is generally the length of a world, so we're pretty good. Hopefully, we can actually start the next level in this video, though, because my god. If they're going to take that long, then I'm not going to be able to show much extra stuff in these videos. Ah, eh, don't worry. We'll show all the extra fun stuff at the end of the game. For now, though, we can leave. Just as soon as we find the exit pad. Here it is. And now that we're pumpkin form, there are actually a few things we can do. First, oh shoot, uh, watch out for those guys because those guys do run faster than you when you're pumpkin form. Which 
which means they can easily hurt you. Okay, we're good. But yeah, remember this uh, pathway we opened earlier? Well, there is actually a second house down here. And you can't get inside the door with Banjo, but there is a little hole we can use the pumpkin for. And then we find Mumbo's secret spot. And with Mumbo's secret spot, we can actually access this coffin. Which has a switch, a very important switch. This switch will raise the water level inside those uh, series of two rooms in Grunty's Lair. It is very important that you do this because you cannot advance any further in the game without doing that. It's kind of a trick. Kind of a cheap trick. <laughs> cheap trick. Surrender, surrender. Okay, no, sorry. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a cheap trick because you can't exactly know that if you're playing this game for the first time. So when you leave his pumpkin form, you're probably just going to do something else and not even think about going over here. So you kind of have to figure that out somehow, which is not exactly straightforward as you would think it would be. <clears throat> but that's okay, it's okay. Like I said, though, we're not done with pumpkin. We have a few other things we can do. Like in this room, there is a really narrow path we can now travel through. Remember, we could do this again as Banjo-Kazooie, but you're not going to find anything else to do over here, so... Better to do it now as pumpkin form. Okay, there we go. Also, Brintilda. Revolting Gruntilda's bedroom has dirty undies hanging from the ceiling. Ew. She also has a loogie bush growing in a pot beside her bed. Filthy old bag. And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous spotty purple undies. Are they the same ones hanging from the ceiling? Probably. Okay, thanks. Thank you, uh, Brent. Or I guess I'll call you Brenty. I don't like that name, though. Although, Brent doesn't exactly work either. Anyway, Cheeto. Cheeto Baron Berta found once more. Another spell they get. If one more page I see you turn, then Grunty shall Cheeto burn. Nasty witch is, so code I shall tell. Enter red feathers on sandcastle floor in Treasure Trove Cove. Okay, notice how um, all the codes have been related to items we have. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Also, where the frick is the exit? Is it over here? Oh, there it is, okay. Well then, now that we've done that... I think it's only sensible that we die. This way we can just get back here without going through that path again, and like I said before, losing lives, not a big deal in this game. Okay, Mumbo, where are you? There you are. Okay, there we go. Pumpkin has been found. Or been, uh, exiled from the world of Banjo. So now you're probably wondering, how are we going to get that jiggy that's up here? You know, that jiggy that's safely encompassed in her eyeball. And we can just do this the fun way and beak bomb our way into the eye. Okay, there we go. Only two more jiggies to get in the overworld. And we only have two more levels left, so we're right on schedule. 
I like this fact. I like it a lot. But let's see what's in here now. 